remember, we started to tell our 10th generation Civic story last year at the New York Auto Show when we debuted the very sporty and green Civic Coupe concept, which set the stage for the all new sedan launch last year. Now there, we wanted to show the sporty, sophisticated, and stylish new direction for the entire Civic lineup. And we showcased the coupe because this body style has long since been the styling leader for the entire Civic lineup. And before I get into the details about the all new coupe, I want to share some of its history and explain the role that it plays within our lineup. Now we've had a coupe in the Civic lineup every year for the last five generations. And with, it started with a debut back in the 1993 model year. And when we introduced the 2001 Civic Coupe, it was the first non-luxury car to earn an NCAP five-star safety award. And a lot of people believe that the 2006 Coupe was a big reason why Civic was named the 2006 North American Car of the Year. And after five generations, we've sold nearly two million Civic Coupes in the US alone. <coughs> now developing this new Coupe, like every other Civic in the lineup, we spoke at great lengths with compact Coupe owners to understand what their car represented about them or how they felt that it said, what it said about them, and also how they view their car and their lifestyles and what they use their car and how they drive it on a daily basis. Now, of course, we've known a lot of this detail for quite some time, but it's important to realize that the compact coupe buyer is significantly and dramatically different than their sedan or hatchback counterparts. Now, these buyers are most image-oriented and of all of the compact styles, and they're driven first and foremost by styling. Now, where a typical compact sedan buyer will view their next uh, purchase of vehicle looking at value and functionality and features learn, uh, leaning heavily on online research, the typical coupe buyer identifies their next vehicle purchase simply by just seeing it on the road. Now, another example of how image and style conscious coupe buyers are, in some of our ethnographic research, the photos provided by sedan buyers <coughs> oftentimes were focused around their family, and then things with that are make up of their lives. But if you take a look at some of the images here on the screen, the coupe buyer were more likely to provide photos of their car simply parked in their garage. So as you can see, style, design, and expression are extremely important. And at this point in the, these buyers' lives, they would not be satisfied with anything less than the aggressive styling that only a coupe can offer. <clears throat> now Civic's the cornerstone for Honda. And because of its popularity with younger buyers, we consider it the mainstream gateway into the Honda brand. And as you know, Civic Coupe is the styling inspiration that sets the design direction for the entire Civic lineup. For years, the Coupe's emotional lines, aggressive styling, has been drawing buyers all over the world, especially in the US, into Honda showrooms. And not only is it the most expressive Civic in the lineup, the Coupe conquests a significant number of buyers also making an excellent entry point into the brand. And as we all know, the holy grail for automakers is capturing those millennial buyers and then growing them up into the brand. Now these buyers have finally gained a foothold in the workplace over the past few years, and their purchasing power has come online. And as Jeff mentioned earlier, Civic leads in sales to Gen Y. And not only is the Civic the number one compact vehicle with millennials, and has been every year since 2007, but Civic has also been the number one selling car in the industry to under 35 year olds since 2010. And it's not just that youth that matters, it's bringing in millennials of current and future purchasing power that makes them truly a desirable customer. And the Civic Coupe has that powerful combination. Civic Coupe buyers trend younger and more male than any of the other Civic body styles. And the Coupe has a more educated and affluent buyer than any competitor in the segment. So, the table's set. We know the Civic Coupe captures young, affluent buyers and brings them into the brand. And with all these young buyers coming to Civic Coupe as well as the Civic lineup, Coupe is an important gateway into the Honda family, feeding buyers to the rest of the brand as they progress throughout their lifestyles and life stages. One proof point, Civic Coupe is the most likely of any vehicle in the segment to retain buyers and feed larger vehicles into the brand as 30% of our buyers move into larger Honda vehicles. Compared to 24% for the Kia Forte and less than 5% for the Scion TC. All this adds up to a dominant market presence for Civic in the compact coupe market. And contrary to what many of you have heard or on occasion about Civic struggling for the last five years, 
the Civic Coop market's position has actually been improving. Going from roughly 48% back in 2011 to more than 60% of the compact coop market in 2011. Today, Civic Coop sells approximately two times the number of cars of our nearest competitor. And that also adds up to a lot of Civic Coop customers in the marketplace. In fact, we estimate that there's nearly 800,000 U.S. Coops still on the road. In terms of volume, we historically have sold about 40 to 50,000 Coops per year. And as we've seen the Coop segment recover since the recession, we forecast that it'll continue at about 80 to 90,000 cars annually. And we look to maintain and perhaps even build upon our leading position in the segment when this new coupe hits the market. Thank <laughs> you.